Illustrator 2021 got some new updates and features. There are no many updates in here in the desktop version, but at least we have Illustrator for iPad now, which will be a great tool in there, especially with Apple's Pencil 2. Anyway, let's discover the new features in the Computers Edition. Starting with Recolor Artwork tool, that one got some nice updates. So here we have those vector elements in that design, and they are grouped together by the way. So I can select them and recolor them at once. Then here we have recolor artwork in our control bar. You can find that one by the way in window if you don't see it in here. Then you need to enable control. Anyway, let's click that one. Recolor artwork. And now we can pick a color theme either from other vectors or even an image. So here we have some vectors. They are grouped together, which is really important by the way in that case. If you would like to pick that color theme, make sure that you have grouped elements. And here we have an image. So let's start by our vector elements, clicking that button in here, color theme backer. Then all we need to do is to click in here. And instantly, as you can see guys, we have that color palette applied to our vector elements. So let me move that panel a bit to here. And even we have more controls over our colors distribution. So here we have the prominent colors section. We can drag maybe that orange a bit to here. So we have more magenta dominating in that case. We can move it even further like that. And now we have more orange spaces within our vector design. And also here we have other two options, either to randomize our colors like so, or saturation and brightness. Or if you don't like that, you can go back anytime from here. And if you do like to take more control over saturation and brightness, and don't let it go randomly as they did right now, you can go to that button in here where you have saturation and hue color on wheel. You can move that slider for brighter colors in that case. Or you can select saturation slider and make it even more saturated, like so. And by the way guys, you can sample only a little portion of your vector elements. So let's reset that. And instead of clicking in here, let's select our color theme picker first. And instead of clicking on our entire vector shape, we can maybe sample from some part within our design. Maybe that part, by the way, which is within our shape as well. So now, as you can see, we have only four colors within our vector shapes. We can change their distribution. However, let me reset that one more time. And now let's sample from an image, selecting our color theme picker and clicking on that image. And let's maybe play with these colors a bit. And anytime you would like to go back to the previous panel, you can click in here, advanced options. So that feature definitely will be saving us tons of time, especially when we are coloring or recoloring our vector designs. Down to another feature in Illustrator 2021. Now you can unlock your design elements on artboard. So for instance, that background rectangle is locked in place and I can't really select that one. However, I can see that lock icon in here. If I click that one, it will be unlocked. Now I can be moving and selecting that one. And actually, as you can see by default, it's added to my selection as well. And by the way, guys, to make sure that you have that feature enabled, let's go to preferences. Then selecting selection and anchor display. And make sure that you have that feature enabled, select on unlock objects on canvas. And also in text, we have minor improvements as well. So now, for example, we can align our design elements to our baseline and headline of our type. So let's select that square. And let me move that square all the way to here. And as you can see, we have a snap feature to our baseline. And also, if I move that one up, I get another snap to X height, maybe to bottom or center or top. And mainly this one will be very useful when it comes to designing our logos. Also now we have a vertical alignment in our text frame or area type. So let's select that one. And let's extend our area type all the way to here. You'll find that vertical alignment option where you can align to center or top. Or even you can justify, <laughs> which really doesn't look that amazing. However, this is only existing in text frames or area type. So let's get that one back to bottom. And here's one more improvement in our character panel. So let's select that one. And let's open our character panel. Then let's go to our hamburger menu. Then you'll find that new option in here, font height options. Enable that one. 
and now you have different height options for your type so here we have em box we can select x height for example and now you'll see that x in here for x height now we have 207 points while in default which is em box we had 425 points and for example you can use x height for smaller font sizes to make sure they are readable so in that case using x height might be a little bit helpful and anyway guys try not to go beyond 7 points for em box to make sure you're safe while you're using your phones and that will be it for the new updates go ahead and install the new illustrator and go experiment with these new features and tools and stay creative guys